Holy shit. Oh, Turned it up tonight yeah. for Jaren's birthday. Happy birthday, Mr. Benton. Hey yo! That's that's not Dizzy, right? I'm performing, yo. That's Dizzy. I'm feeling very normal right now, like really, really, really normal, real normal. Like I want to go to sleep. It's my birthday. Hey, did you see my birthday shout out? Nah. Did you say something about me being 50? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Jerry! God damn, man! Fuck it! Happy birthday, Jerry! I'm straight edge. I don't believe in drugs. I don't believe in alcohol. <laughs> and everybody else does, and they make me feel like an outcast. Turn up! Turn up! Back to the max. You go hard. Oh, yeah. Some guy told me this is a fake ticket. Is he lying or? A lot of my fan base are younger than I am. What? I went to go order them and they had already sold them by the time I was done. They need two tickets, three tickets. I have a responsibility now. I can't just be making bullshit and brainwashing kids and all that. Right now I'm homeless. I'm just hitchhiked here from Florence because my foster parents suck. I've been in foster care for three years. My mom ditched me in California. And I want to see this concert. So. It just means a lot. I felt like I needed to kind of put some type of impact or wave ripple into the world where they just felt that. And I think I did do that with the Ill Mind of Hobson 5 song where people were just like, whoa, I am maybe fucking up or maybe I do need to kind of get on the right path. I feel like I, I got to make sure they don't make as many mistakes as I've made in the past. <laughs> Nigga, I'll get crunk on y'all, nigga. Captain Lock it! Lock it! Turn up! It's gonna be Dizzy's worst performance ever. I'm calling it right now. Yeah, how you gonna hold it like that? We gonna turn it up. We gonna turn it the fuck up. Yeah, Hop don't drink, man, but it's cool, man. He a part of Team Turn Up no matter what, nigga. Team Turn Up. I'm sipping this one for Jerry Benton right here. That's what it is. Gatorade, baby! Niggas ain't doing that shit out here. Before Jerry Benton. I was a lone soul, man. And this man came along, and I found out he was as fucked up and old and in fucking trouble as I was. And now it's time to fucking perform. Portland right now, about to head to California, and I'm just finding some snacks. Got two Gatorades, Swiss rolls, a turkey sandwich. Fuck it, man, why not? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a nigga just wants to be jerky, you feel me? You were hitting that pipe. That's what it was. You got high as hell? I was really fucking high. Hell yeah. That's I was what I like to hear. I was uncomfortable high. That's though, what man. I like to hear. Because every night of the tour, when I would get too fucked up, I would say, you know what, JC, I'm done. Yo, and I would stop for like six hours, and then I'm back at it again. I was like, I didn't even realize what I was talking about. He was all, he was all aware of his hands. I was aware <laughs> of everything. You get aware of your own self. And you start thinking, is this how I come across to people? Is this, this what you guys see me as? Because I don't like it right now. I don't like who I am right now. I'm going to go home after this tour and do some reevaluating it myself. Next tour, it's only going to be fucking salad and water for me. I'm trying to record, man. 
Niggas. I'm still on the rise. Niggas. I'm trying to be in a place I know I'm not. I'm trying to get to the top so I can see my mama get it right. I need to learn how to record my damn self, man. Fight. Prepare to compare, but it's one dizzy right. Here I am. There you go, yeah. yeah. After the here I am. No, like, uh, in the hook, you know how we cut it? Yeah. It might sound better if we just left it how it was. Right, right, but Hopper's a little under the weather. So insane, right? so ashamed. You got the sniffles. Mind. Everybody got the my sniffles mind. right now. Yeah. But it's cool because I'm like going back I'll over my shit. I'm actually face spending face a lot of time on my shit. Moving shit around, twisting shit up, making shit a little tighter. I might just start doing it like this. I want that shit to like just kind of echo a little bit, then go out, and then bring the hook back in. Hey, you see how I'm doing the ad libs and shit now? Yeah. I noticed it. You noticed that shit? Yo, man, I got that from you, man. I know. You told me to get on my ad lib game. I got on my ad lib game, B. Swiss was the one, man. Well, a little while ago, I announced the uh, title on my EP. It's called The First Degree Man. Shit, I'm just doing my own thing. Everything gonna grow. Just like funk volume, you know, everything just grows. This is a good fucking start off, man. I've been working all year, so it's just a good way to kind of, you know, let people you know where I'm at. It's no secret that Dizzy's held us down from a music standpoint over the past year and a half. I'm taking a year out with a bang. I did the Smoke Out Conversations album, mixtape, the tour, the FB 2012 tour, and I'm dropping the EP, and I'm gonna be in Australia. I'm gonna be on the international tour. He doubled our catalog within a year. It exceeded my expectations. I mean, I knew Dizzy was talented and I knew that he would do well, but a lot of the stuff is, is taking off pretty fast for him. I've been working all year, nigga, nonstop. I just want to continue to work. I want my shit to just sit till next year. I don't want to hold no music. I want to put that shit out. Turn it up, turn it up. Hey, hey, yo. I want everybody hey, in this motherfucker hey, hey, jumping with me already. You know, and that's a testament to his hard work, you know, his talent, and, and the structure that we built. Um, you know, it just proved that it worked. Nigga for nigga shit, I know I'm trying for the grip to do this shit, nigga. <coughs> that shit independent, my nigga. Yeah, and right. niggas and nigga, I be, I was in a group of five niggas, sit down to three. You feel me? So niggas, shit, niggas fall out, nigga. For y'all niggas to be like y'all is, nigga. And nigga to hold it down as a group, nigga. Nigga, that's some brother shit right there, my nigga. Yeah, early, early But this shit right here, nigga, that brother shit y'all got. That's gonna get you wealthy. The FB 2012 tour was so cool, it's so valuable. Cause when we come together, there's like brothers or something. That's essential to have a support system like that. You know, I ain't never had like no family like that, you know? That's what keeps everybody tight, keeps the shit moving, is looking out for each other. If you don't stick together with the fools you're rolling with, then shit, I don't know what you're doing. Because we all we got. I come from the motherfucking gutter, nigga. I see people struggle for us to be fucking living our lives, doing this shit, doing what the fuck we love. Ain't nobody want to go back to that type of shit like that, man. Not me. We got the opportunity, man. We fucking blocking shows. We making people fucking scream. We signing autographs, man. You don't get no fucking better than this, man. All of our good moments came from fans expressing their love for Funk Volume. To see us all at a stage where they'll probably never see us at again. Hi, honey. Good to see you. We made it back with all that nonsense. LA. 
Yeah. Official count, 13,000 miles. Back where we started at, you know, this is where we left from. Pretty much, man. We've been gone for like 50 days, you know, shit's been real. Niggas been grinding. This is just one year, the first year, 2012. 2013, we kicking the door at. I'll put an ice on Tuesday. that we ended it in LA and we sold out show. Last show of the tour. Nigga, we at Key Club in motherfucking Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood, California. <laughs> yeah. It's the last day I'm drinking these like for the rest of my life. One of the last week sessions of the tour. But I will miss everybody. He's trying to have his locking in right now, Jenna. I'm fine, Jenna. <laughs> All right, Jaron, you fucking And it song. has begun. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. Wow. Play this fuck up. He's a fuck up. Play this fuck up. Oh, man. 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 See funk volume in general with myself, we we just growing. Hey Jaron, let's get this shit popping, y'all. Turn it up. A lot of growth, a lot more fans, a lot more money. I'm doing good, I don't need a A lot more happiness. That's why we do this shit. We do it because we love it, we do it to have fun. Hold on, if we only make a little bit of money, make a difference. Just because I haven't put out stuff doesn't mean that I stop working. The studio is in my bedroom. I make beats constantly. I rap constantly. When that shit drops, just expect the best swizz that you've ever heard. Because they only get better. DJ Hopper. Hey, yo, Hopper, man. What the hell? What's, what's up, Bob? What's up, man? Yo, man, I can't come out like this, man. They ain't ready for me. Yo, I, you know what? I don't is ready for Hobson, man. I don't know. Hey, We haven't had a major label involvement. We haven't had an outside investor. I got a chance to look a lot of you guys in the eyes, man. And I can tell that a lot of you are lost. Or you don't know where the fuck you're going in life. Thanks to both of you on the journey into my ill mind. Sing along if you know the words to this shit. You guys kick it off. Come on. What? Everything in the music industry is changing. The technology is changing. You know, the music's changing. We aren't dependent upon labels taking risks anymore. You know, we go direct to fans and we create the music that we want to create. Is that all you think life really is? Well, if so, then you're a fucking idiot. I honestly feel like wrapping your head in the idiot. Don't act surprised. Look, just get the bad food off of the truth. Make the sacrifice, girls. 
So you're seeing a lot more artists now, you know, creating music that's just true to them and it's working. And when they leave, you cry, cry, At the end of the day, man, we just want to support dope artists. I definitely feel like these new artists are paving the way. I'm just, I'm coming up. I'm, I'm creeping on the come up. Everybody has a come up. Everybody has a come up. And niggas can get surpassed. You can get to a nigga level and be at that nigga level or you can, whatever. So, you know, I plan on, I want to be the greatest, like, for real. <laughs> Mind blowing, man. Me and my homie Derek, when he comes over, he always says like, "Man, Marcus, how the fuck are you doing this? And you're sitting right here in your basement. Oh, my nigga, all you doing is sitting right here, and these niggas know about you. Every time he comes over, I'm just sitting right there on the fucking computer. It doesn't look like I'm doing much, and I feel the same way. I'm like, man, it's." fucking weird because I'm just Marcus. I am just Marcus. It's crazy. For once, I feel alive. <laughs> right, that's, that's amazing. I just died it. Oh, tonight. <laughs> but the best stuff you said. That's how I feel every night. <sighs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I know. Have you ever just had that moment and you like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, like, I'm considered to be a human being. That's what I'm labeled. I'm talking. I'm doing a fucking interview. What? What the fuck is this, man? Like, <laughs> this shit is crazy. I just got. I just got out the matrix. Let me get back. Anyway, bring it back. let's bring it back. <laughs> Extra money, dude, just to meet you and shake your hand, dude. You're the sure. best rapper I have ever seen. Since I'm in that man, I really do. I respect you. I follow you. I, do, I follow everything you do, man. I really do. I love you so much, bro. Talk. Real talk. You motherfuckers don't know me like Hobson does. Hobson, I just want you to know, man. Let me talk to Hobson. Thank you, dude. 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 No fucking motherfuckers. No Hobson like Hobson does. No way. Nothing. He's about money. Hobson knows. Hobson knows real talk. There's no way. Let's rap about money. There's Drake. Let's rap about money. Let's, there's everything. Let's rap about money. But Hobson, Hobson fucking knows. Cause you're right. No, we 